garbage. When our founding fathers were deists, go read Thomas Paine, The Age of Reason. They were deists. And of course, Washington and all these other guys had to pretend to be Christian because all politicians have to pretend to be religious. Otherwise, they won't appeal to their Christian Zionist base and other, uh, other groups. You main stars. Yeah, I think you have to go um, founder by founder, and you, uh, I'll speak to those three specifically. Um, what I argue in the book is you have author after author claiming that most of America's founders were deists. That's an utterly nonsensical claim. So deist is, of course, a um, person who believes in a creator God, but then thinks this God sort of leaves the scene, right? So God is not involved in the affairs of men and nations. God doesn't do miracles. So if that's our definition of deist, um, almost no Americans meet that definition. Um, maybe Ethan Allen, probably Ethan Allen, probably Thomas Jefferson, although upon occasion he speaks about God engaging in the affairs of men and nations, I think we can say safely that that is rhetorical flourish. Thomas Paine would meet this definition as well, but he's English, right? He spent most of his life actually in Europe, and he's born in England and um, when he died in America after publishing The Age of Reason, he's vilified because of it. No one wants to have anything to do with him. So with, with respect to the three men you mentioned, Franklin, as a young man, admits in his um, autobiography that as a young man, he came under the, the spell of the deist. And so he became a deist. And yet he recognized almost right away that this was a dangerous doctrine. And he moved away from it. Toward the end of his life, he seemed to move back into a more theistic sort of position where he believes in God, that God intervenes in the affairs of men and nations. He admits to Ezra Stiles, the president of Yale, that he's not really sure about the divinity of Jesus Christ. And so that would suggest he's not a, an Orthodox Christian, uh, but he's also not a deist. Washington is incredibly private about his religious beliefs. He's an Anglican, of course. He's a vestryman. Um, he speaks all the time about God intervening in the affairs of men and nations. So he would seem not to be a deist, as the term is usually usually defined. Um, Thomas Jefferson, I think, was the third one. Um, he is one of the most clearly unorthodox of all founders. We know from private letters that he denies the divinity of Christ, the existence of miracles, the Trinity, the virgin birth, and so forth. Um, he does seem to believe in God, and so I would put him in the theist category maybe the DS category. So those are the big three. Um, but I would point out these three are not representative of the American founders. Um, when we turn our eyes to the broader constellation of founders, and literally hundreds of men and a few women who are involved in crafting these documents and ratifying these documents and so forth, um, what we see is almost no evidence of this sort of deism and a great deal of evidence that these founders are in fact um, Orthodox Christians.